Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Emperor Pro here, and welcome back to the Average Maker XP Tutorials. This episode is going to be covering, uh, well, it's going to be covering how to make the, um, the characters and stuff, like how to set them up, the perimeters, the HP, SP, strength, dexterity, agility, and intelligence, and all that, and, you know, their equipment and stuff like that. So, we are going to change, uh, we're going to change the maximum down here by clicking the change maximum button, and we're going to increase by one. Let's name this character... Poe. Why not? And uh, here's our, here are the classes. I'll go over how to make new classes um, in the next episode, I think. But in this episode, we're going to be covering the uh, the, uh, the actor's tab. So we're going to make Poe a fighter for now. Uh, so he's going to start at level 1, and he's going to... His maximum level will be level 99. You can you can change it if you want to. Um, the initial level is the starting level, which he, the level he starts on. And the final level is the maximum level of uh, the character. And you can't go beyond 99 unless you use um, scripting. Anyway, the EXP curve here is this, okay, this might look really confusing, but don't worry, it's not. Um, it's not really, you know, too too bad. I'll go ahead and explain how uh, how it all works. Okay, so, as you see, level 1, he, he needs 30 experience to level up to level 2. He needs 49 experience to level up to level 3. 74 to, equal, uh, to level up to level 4. Now, the inflation thing uh, is kind of like the, it changes how the multiplier works. Um, I don't really know the algorithm, so, like, I don't know uh, how they did it. But basically, you change the base right here, and the multiplier will kind of keep itself balanced based on whatever you have the slider as. Uh, lower means you're going to level up a lot faster. Higher means you're going to level up. It's going to take a lot more to level up. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go with this. I think, yeah, yeah. Let's just go with this. Uh, the character graphic. This is where you get to uh, choose the graphic of the character. Uh, as you can see, they look a little bit different than the VX Ace ones. Uh, we're gonna make him. Hmm. I don't know if that's a boy or a girl, but you know what? We're gonna use it. <laughs> Poe is either a boy or a girl. It doesn't matter, I guess. Okay, well, so we need the hunter too. Okay, yep, this is Poe. Poe is a hunter. All right. Now this is the battler graphic. This is the graphic that shows up on the battle screen. Um. So yeah, we got this. We got this. Now here's here's how the stats work. Okay. So right here. Basically, you have a slider. You can either manually draw how the uh how he how his stats are when he levels up. You can you can look at the uh, stats by changing the level here. So at level one, he's gonna have 50. That's a lot of health. And as you can see, as you increase the levels, his HP uh, increases. I usually do the generate curve, but you can also do quick settings. Like uh, E would be he's not very good in that stat. A would be he's um, very good in that stat, and everything else in between would be yeah. You, that's how it works. Everything else in between B is uh, mostly good. C is Mid range D is mostly not good and E is terrible and A of course is uh, amazing. So, um, so that's how you would kind of set that up. The curve generator is really unique. Uh, I like it because you can you have this little slider here where you can change slow. Uh, let's see. At level one, I want him to have 250 health. At level 99, let's just keep it that. As you can see, if you go to level one, you start leveling up and you get like a little bit of health. But as you play the game more and you start leveling up. Uh, it increases a lot more. So eventually, you start increasing by the hundreds. I like that a lot. See, look at that. Almost, look at that. That's a nice increase. I like that. You can also, if you were, if you want it to, uh, to go fast, you can do it that way as well. You start going fast, as you can see. Go up nearly, well, you go up a lot. But as you get to the higher levels, you start gaining less and less. See? Look at that. It goes up by one in the last three levels. Uh, so I, I kind of recommend keeping it in the mid-range or slightly slow, like that. Because uh, it makes you feel more rewarded and it feels uh, more balanced out. So this is your HP. Uh, right here is your SP, which is your basically like your MP, uh, your mana. You use skills, uh, magic, stuff like that with this. Uh, here's your strength. Here's your dexterity, which is like your defense, and I believe it's also your magic defense. I don't know. Uh, I think I think INT would be 
Your magic defense as well, though. I'm not really sure. Uh, but anyways, this is your dexterity. It's like your defense. Uh, this is your agility. This is how fast uh, the character is. Meaning, if if the higher the agility, the um, the quicker, like the the player's turn will be. Let's say a monster has an agility of 500, but your character had has an agility of 501. Your character is gonna go before the monster will. That's how agility works. Uh, intelligence. This is this is uh, what. Nah. Okay. This is how your magic uh, does damage. So let's say you cast a fire spell or something. Uh, the higher your int is, the more magic you're gonna, uh, the more damage you're gonna do with magic. So if you're having, if if you have a mage, this is definitely the way to go. Uh, you you definitely want to give him a or generate a curve with uh, high magic abilities. Now for the equipment, uh, right here we have the bronze sword, um, iron sword, steel sword, mithril sword. But he's a hunter, so we need to change him to a hunter here. There you go. As you can see, depending on what uh, what class you choose. You'll have different, um, different things that you can equip. See, so, uh, I'm going to go ahead and equip some of this stuff right here on him. Uh, let's go with dexterity here. As you see, we changed the fighter. His main weapon is no is no longer here because certain classes can only equip certain different types of weapons, which I'll show you how to define them in the next episode, though. All right, right here is the uh, the shields, which is like your secondary weapon. You can also check the fixed. Well, it's not technically a weapon. It's um, most okay. Fighters have shields. Uh, you you know, it's, other people can have different types of equipment that you set, which I'll show you how to make uh, in future episodes. Fixed meaning okay. Fixed basically means that they cannot. Uh, the the player cannot change uh, the the character's equipment. So it's locked on that equipment. So let's say you have a temporary party member. Uh, let's say like for example. Somebody with a really high level and very high end equipment joins you. You can actually, and but yet they're they're not going to stay in your party for very long. You can actually fix their equipment so the player can't use those weapons. Um, yeah, that's that's how that would work. It's pretty cool. Well, I guess that about does it for this episode. I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and become a party member. I guess <laughs> I still got to get used to that. See you guys.